All right, so story time. I was living in Atlanta in this house that had nothing but a couch, a TV that didn't work, and a blow-up mattress. And it had this little side room where I would let people stay. And this girl came over with her friend and her friend's boyfriend. Now, me and this girl, we go in our room or my room and we're doing stuff. And the other two couple were in their room doing whatever. Next thing I know, she starts screaming calling for our names we run over there and this dude is like in his boxers basically with this freaking thing hanging out the little window and i'm in there and i'm like what the hell is going on he's freaking out cold on the ground and she's like he od'd whatever and i had to fucking start doing uh chest compressions and mouth to mouth to this guy that i just met like 20 minutes ago so i'm putting my mouth on this guy's fucking mouth i'm doing the chest compressions uh, while she's on the phone with the ambulance, took about five minutes. The entire time I was doing chest compressions and mouth to mouth, the dude freaking, the ambulance gets there, they hit him with the Narcan, he wakes up, and they're putting him in the stretcher to freaking pull him into the ambulance, and he's like refusing to go, but we're like convincing him, dude, you've gotta fucking go, like you just, you just went out, you have to go. And you're, you just took Narcan, so you're gonna be sh feeling shitty. And he didn't want to, but we also didn't want to deal with all the repercussions. In the meantime, one of the cops had illegally walked into my house and was looking around and found some shit, but he was like, hey, we're not even gonna talk about all that, let's just fucking go. So they all leave, and I'm like, who is this fucking guy? And the woman proceeds to tell me that he was actually the son of this major company that does all the windows for freaking NASCAR. And his dad was like a multi-millionaire, like hundreds of millions of dollars, not just a couple. And I was like, yeah, that's bullshit. But come to find out, like this dude had fucking called me after he got out and everything and I was still on drugs. So he was like, you know, where can I pick up? Whatever, we were running together for a couple days. And sure as shit, this kid shows up with a brand new, that year, Honda Civic. Like, brand fucking new. I was like, where'd you get the new car? And he was like, oh, you know, my parents fucking bought it for me, blah, blah, blah. We go and pick up, and he fucking has, like, thousands of dollars. And I'm like, where's this fucking kid who's, like, strung out in addiction? Where's he getting all this fucking money? And that's when he tells me about his family and what their business is and all this stuff. And he's like, yeah, you know, I'm supposed to air the the company but like I just can't get my shit together I, I keep using I keep going to rehabs I've been to like 27 rehabs in three years and I was like holy fuck dude like what the fuck he's like yeah you know I basically stand to inherit like millions and millions of dollars if I could just get my shit together and I was like why don't you he's like I fucking can't man the fucking the crack has got me and this kid was no shit he was calling his mom every single fucking day and she was sending him thousands of dollars this fucking bug she was sending him thousands of dollars to fucking go, like, he was just saying, hey, you know, I need money. And she wasn't asking a whole lot of questions. She was just sending him money, but they were just so fucking rich. They, she was sending him thousands of dollars every single fucking day. This kid, and I've never fucking seen this happen in my life. This kid was smoking so much fucking crack cocaine that he was fucking going into seizures and ended up crashing his fucking brand new car, going to the hospital, and then three days later, he was back out and had a brand new fucking car again, a different fucking car. And I was just like, dude, this fucking kid. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this is to show you that these drugs don't discriminate. It doesn't matter if you came from the hood or private schools or you grew up on the streets or anything like that. Once these drugs get a hold of you, it's damn near impossible to fucking get out. So I hope this helps somebody. That's it for me. Peace, love, and until next time.